Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this new video. We have a few things to talk about today, so uh, let's just jump right into it. So the number one thing that I get asked is how I'm able to afford the things I am, living in the middle of the city of Chicago, not having some crazy drop shipping business, making $20,000 a month, and uh, the answer is actually pretty simple. I want you to think, what are things that you spend the most money on? I know this time is going to be a little different because we have uh, a current like pandemic situation going on, but still think back to when you were doing your normal job, going into an office, going to, you know, wherever it was that you worked. For me, when I took a closer look at this, I realized that I was spending hundreds of dollars a month eating out and almost a hundred dollars on coffee a month. I, when I realized that, I was in shock. You know, you go to Chipotle, you buy a $6 burrito bowl and you don't think anything of it. But do that 20, you know, 25 times a month, it all heads up to the point where if you include dinners and going out to bars and, you know, all of those sort of things on top of that, that's hundreds of dollars. That's the car payment for the car that you want right there. So what I did was I realized, listen, I don't need to go out all the time. I would just go bring my sack lunch like I would when I was in grade school to work and that would be a way for me to cut back on savings. Now by doing that, I was actually able to save around $300 a month, which was at the time uh, of my the red Corvette you've seen on the channel, 75% of the car payment for that car. Let's just think about this. I didn't get a raise. I didn't get a new job. All I did was reallocate the money that I was already getting every month to the things that I wanted to spend my money on and the things that I cared most about. I think you, if you take a step back and look at this and look at your finances, I guarantee you that you are going to find money that you didn't realize that you were you had. Another one was Amazon. I mean, Amazon makes things so easy to buy. You know, you drag over, you just click add to cart and boom, it's there today. I'll leave the link in the description below. Go run a report and you can put it in Amazon. It'll actually give you every single thing you've purchased over a specific period of time that you set. Go run that and then total it up in the Excel sheet that pops out. And I guarantee you, you're going to be shocked. I had no idea how much money I was spending on Amazon because I wasn't tracking it that closely. Now, I don't think you need to make a whole entire budget like, uh, like uh, what's his name, Dave Ramsey. Um, I don't think you need to take that approach. Um, again, this is my personal opinion and view. Um, if you have, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars in debt, I don't think that you should be doing what I'm describing in this video. So, so please keep that in mind. This is something that, um, you know, is still very subject. These are things that you can do w without having to make drastic changes in your life or, you know, all of a sudden need a new job paying you 10, 20, $30,000 more a month to make these, these things happen. So without further ado, let's introduce my new purchase. This right here is a 2000 Chevy Malibu with 85,000 miles on it. <clears throat> I know, real, real, real great looking car here. But you know what? This is another way I am able to save a lot more money. This car was $800 cash, 85,000 miles on it. And you know what? I've put 300 miles on it so far, and all I've done is put gas in it and air up the tires because it got colder out. I don't need to drive something super fancy and have another two, three, four hundred dollar car payment. Because honestly, I can't afford that. <laughs> I, I, I probably could, but it's not where I want to allocate my money because I want to be able to do some mods and updates and upgrades and things to the cars that I purchase to enjoy and have fun with. This car is a necessity to get me from point A to point B. It's not for me to have fun with and enjoy. Although we will let her rip a little bit here and, uh, and see what she's made of. But these are other things like you don't need you don't need the mercedes to pull up you know to your uh grandparents house in winter and you know 
stunt on grandma or like you know increase her property value by giving her that curb appeal outside with a you know sl 550 or something like that something super simple easy doesn't really uh you know look great but it gets the job done so take a step back and and see what you can do so in the comments below let me know what you were spending your money on that you were shocked about because honestly i was i was blown away and it made upgrading from the red corvette to this c6 zr1 that you've just seen on the channel so much more easier and uh honestly i probably could have had this car a lot sooner had i looked at this stuff more closely so with that guys we're back at the lot we're gonna close out this video here thank you guys for tuning in please let me know in the comments below where you were able to save some money or some areas where you were shocked uh that you were kind of spending so much uh i hope that this helped you guys out and that you're you know able to afford that dream car or dream home or dream anything uh a little bit quicker with this uh you know 30 seconds I guess of actual advice and then just a, a bunch of random stuff in a video also let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a c5 z06 build on the channel now with this being kind of like a personal finance and automotive channel that's kind of like the best bang for your buck performance wise car you can get so it's kind of like the perfect car for this channel with how <laughs> with how cheap they've kind of been lately i found one for only twenty thousand dollars with fifty thousand miles on it which i thought was just a steal but unfortunately, I cannot make that purchase now because I want to try to um, get some stuff done to the ZR1. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff. I'll catch you in the next one.